Hey guys, it's Skinface here, and welcome back to episode 40 of my Manchester City career. Now in today's episode, really, really good episode for us today, we've got a semi-final match against uh, Liverpool, that's in the FA Cup, followed by a game against Tottenham a few days later in the league, uh, and then we'll send the game against Burnley at home in the league, play a game against Arsenal also in the league as well to hopefully finish off today's episode. That means we're getting very close to the end of the season. We've only got three more games left after today, uh, today's episode, plus potentially obviously a final in the FA Cup if we were to go ahead and beat Liverpool here. But other than that, we're getting so close. The next episode will be the last one of the season, and then we'll get on with the third season straight away. Before we get into today's episode, though, if we could try and hit 100 likes, then I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the channel or just haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button as well. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Let's cry. I think straight away. This is I'm going to go with Edison, Cal Walker, Stones, Van Gala, Mendy, Sol, Gunduan, Gabriel Azusa, at centre attacking mid, uh, Raheem Sterling, Yuri Sani, and Sanchez all starting. Wanted to get as many attacking players as possible into this team for today's game. And uh, Gabriel Azusa starting at centre attacking mid. He can play centre forward, so it's near enough. Hopefully, going to get ourselves into the final of the FA Cup here. That's, of course, going to be our objective. We've got to try and do something domestically now, as well as trying to win the league. Obviously, we, we went out of the EFL Cup and we weren't able to go any further in the Champions League than the quarters, so we have to do something, we have to win the FA Cup here. Okay then, at Wembley for the semi-final of the FA Cup, can we get ourselves a win here against Liverpool? Hopefully we can, obviously a couple of players uh, playing slightly differently to usual, Gabriel Azusa was being the main one uh, that's playing uh, in a slightly different position, hopefully he's going to be okay there just behind the striker, he'll obviously have to do a little bit more build-up play than maybe he's used to. Come on, Leroy, on up the left-hand side really early on here. Doesn't have anybody in the middle just yet. Looking for a cutback somewhere, and there's nobody quite able to arrive. Leroy, this time going to hold it up for Gabriel Azus. Into Sanchez, he's going to try and turn his man and shoot. It must be a goal, and it is. Sanchez scores, past the goalkeeper. 1-0, seven minutes in. We've had two good opportunities, two good attacks. And uh, the second one finally finds ourselves uh, a goal and gets the, the ball in the back of the net. It's 1-0. Sané this time comes inside. Gabriel Azus is part of the link-up play into Sanchez, who slots it past the keeper. Really good bit of build play, and what a start to the game, 1-0. Oh, what a bit of play, it's one all. Didn't think Bakayoko scored that, to be honest, but he did actually find the back of the net. Really strange finish from him. It's one all, 16 minutes in, good response for Liverpool. I will, however, say that's the first shot, and it's got in. Which, of course, is a bit frustrating, but uh, they've managed to find a way through. We've not quite defended it properly. And it's just a real sort of knock off his left th uh, thigh, I think, in the end. Gets it past Edison, who doesn't really do too, too much, and it's now one all. 17 minutes into this game, already been two goals, and uh, yeah, a bit disappointed with the way we conceded. That shouldn't really have allowed that to happen. Liverpool outplaying us here. Firmino to go and shoot first time. I thought it was a bizarre decision as he did it, but actually he's hit the bar, and it's still a Coutinho with the ball here, going into the middle. I need to clear it. That's the second shot, and it nearly went in again. I mean, this is unbelievable, uh, the sort of the... The ability of their uh, finishers to almost score every single time, or look like they're going to score every single time the attack. Uh, we don't quite have that same ability. I mean, we look a threat. We, we did in the first 10-15 uh, minutes, but we don't really seem to have the, the clinical finishers. Or at least I'm not good enough to, to finish them. Gabriel Azus might have to go this one alone unless he plays it to Sanchez. Looks for a 1-2. Gabriel Azus! Oh, what a save by Carius. He comes out brilliant, spreads himself, and it's out for a corner. Fantastic 1-2 there on the edge of the box. Allowed us to break in behind their defence, and it's not happened too many times. Stones here, going to play into Sanchez. Wanted a touch, couldn't get it. Stones, nah. Half-time, one all at the moment in the, in the semi-final of the FA Cup. Of course, we're a little bit disappointed to have conceded the way that we did. We have had the better uh, amount of shots, as you can see by the stats here. Uh, we need to make them a little bit more clear-cut, though. We've got to try and keep possession a little bit better. We did that in the final 10 minutes, but I want to try and do it for the full uh, second half now as well. Well played. Gundogan now being allowed through. Gundogan to shoot and finish it off. That's exactly what I needed to see. And it's a bit, brilliant bit of possession play. We managed to keep the ball since we kicked off. We ran up the pitch. A few nice little passes. Waited for the right moment. Gundogan runs forward and slots it in past the uh, Carrius in goal. So really good bit of build-up play there. Fantastic stuff. Uh, midfielders running forward is exactly what we need to break down the Liverpool defence. Drag out the men. Get someone else running in behind. And we've got ourselves back in the lead. It's 2-1 now. Oh, lovely challenge, Stones. If you've injured him, bonus points. Yes, brilliant play again. That's much quicker from us now as well. Sterling again has to come inside. Gundogan, oh, gets a shot away and again gets to it. Gundogan gets his second goal. It's now 3-1. Ilka Gundogan, brilliant bit of play. Again, getting forward nicely, which we don't often see from midfielders all the time. But he's ahead of everyone here, Gundogan. He reacts quickest as well and manages to take a touch and then score at the same time. It was really, really good from him. Makes it 3-1. Gives us a nice little lead. And we'll make a couple of changes now. Fresh up the team. Think about the Tottenham game a little bit. 
Of course, this match is over. There's still 22 minutes to go. Uh, but we have to freshen up the side. Okay, all three changes. Delph, Yaya Torre and Roberts all to go on. We'll take off Sol, Gabriel Zeus and Sanchez. Raheem Sterling will go play up front now. Not seen much of Yaya Torre for a little while. So that means he's going to come on and play for us. He's dropping in overall. So Tottenham can have him, to be honest, at the end of the season. That was always the plan to sell him. And uh, he will be leaving, sadly, at the end of the season after a great career here. Uh, but a chance for us, uh, for him to try and contribute to us getting into the final here. Of course, it does seem like uh, we've got one foot there. Uh, but hopefully, in the final 22 minutes he can maybe even add to the scoreline Liverpool throwing loads of players forward now got nothing to lose here 12 minutes left of this game it's now Coutinho still going had to be saved where the hell is our left back it's 3-2 11 minutes left Mane manages to get them a goal if I was him I'd be running and getting the ball not celebrating but that's frustrating don't know what Mendy's doing no man's land really and allows them in behind to score 3-2, 10 minutes to go, and uh, this game certainly isn't over. I thought we actually were starting to look really good after we made those changes, and again, it's the situation where Liverpool have had their first attack since I can remember, to be honest, and they've gone and taken it. Very clinical. Yes, that's a 3-2 win for us into the final of the FA Cup, beating Liverpool. Happy with that win. Of course, it was a little bit uh, shaky towards the end for the final 10 minutes. I mean, we shouldn't have conceded. I wasn't really um, too worried after we conceded because we were in such control. Uh, but 3-2, good scoreline and uh, plenty of goals, of course, in that match. But enough to get us into the final, of course, is the main thing that we're after. Finals against Crystal Palace. Okay, they beat Chelsea in the semi-final. Fair enough. That was also 3-2. I forgot to mention at the start of the episode, we have some very good news Finally, we can promote Carter into our first team. He's 16 years old, potential of 91 to 94. We want him on our side, of course. However, we do have too many players. Well, we have the exact, the, the highest amount of players you can have. So, we have to get rid of someone. I've made up my decision about who it's going to be. It's going to be Amaral. He was actually, I think, a fairly decent potential player, but we have that many keepers. Like, it, it is ridiculous, really, the amount of keepers that we have. To add another one in would be, would be crazy, basically. So, we will get rid of uh, Amaral and we'll bring in somebody else who's already 71 overall, so he will immediately become sort of our second choice keeper, maybe. Um, so we'll release him from his contract, he leaves us, I'm not going to really lose too much sleep over that, to be honest. Um, we have better keepers in our team. So we'll now uh, add Carter into our side, 71 overall, £2.7 million is how much he's worth at 16 years old. He's going to be incredible. Um, we are going to have a future first team player. I'm going to. Tr I was trying to offer him a five year deal. Maybe you can't do that. A uh, future first team player was what we'll give him. Hopefully he's okay with that. Might want something more though. Okay, play drills. Let's go on with these exact same five drills again this week. Hopefully try and train these guys up and let's see how they are. So we will add Carter, I think, into the mix at some point once he's signed. Rivero, they're going up to 60 overall this week. That's great. Rivero, if you don't know, uh, is the guy that has potential between 93 and 94. Can't get much better than that, can you? And he's already at 60 overall. He's at the moment 15 years old. Can't quite promote him just yet, but it should be in the next couple of months uh, when we see him uh, turn 16. So he will probably join us over the summer, which will be great. Uh, try and trade up even further and uh, get him some game time as well, which is obviously very important. Oscar Hill accepts his new contract. I did that in between episodes. He gets an extension on his deal because uh, he's growing really well as well. Okay, so this is I'm going to go with for the next game against Tottenham. It's a couple of days later, so it's quite heavily changed, but still a good enough sign, I think. Edison starts in goal. Danilo, company, Ferreira, Bertrand... Goretzka, De Bruyne, Silva, Roberts, Lozano and Aguero starts up front. This is the bench. Stones, Fandino, Delph, Yaya Torres, Inchenko, Selina, Moreno, all on there. Uh, a lot of big names missed out, but they will get into the team for the next match against Burnley, which will be simming. Let's focus on this game first of all. Chelsea won their game, so that means they've played an extra game than us. They've gone to first place. Puts the pressure on us because we now have to match their win as well. Uh, this has the race is going to go right down to the Y by the looks of it. Chelsea have really kept up with us very well. You can see currently um, we've actually only lost three games this season. We're actually doing very, very well. Only conceded 19 goals, scored loads as well. Um, but yeah, Chelsea really doing very well to keep up with us. We've got to try and go out here and get a win against Tottenham. That's tough. They're sixth at the moment in the league. Uh, I imagine they're going to be probably better than what that position suggests uh, in game though. Okay then, so here we go for this game against Tottenham. It's a league game at the Etihad and uh, yeah, the pressure is a little bit on, I suppose, uh, with Chelsea already playing their match and winning it. Uh, it's also a change side as well, but still a strong enough team, no doubt on paper, to get ourselves a result. It's whether we play well enough together um, that we'll have to wait and see on. Uh, Silva through to Kevin De Bruyne. He's made a good run from midfield, shoots and saved. Come on, De Bruyne, give us an option here. Never seem to have anybody in the middle at all. It's gone into Lozano, now Aguero. Go on. Oh, so close. I don't know whether it was Lozano or whether it was Bernardo Silva. It's difficult to tell. It might have been Bernardo Silva, in fact. But 
Really good one-touch play there uh, inside the box. Aguero couldn't quite get the finish right, though. De Bruyne will go for the cross here. Lozano's in there, can't meet it. Lozano, now with Aguero to pick out. Aguero can try and find Bernardo Silva. Oh, you've got to score. You've got to score that. That's a dreadful finish. Got to be directed more into the corners. Oh, that's not good enough at all. When the build-up play is so good and you've had so few chances, you've got to be clinical. And uh, that was the chance we had to take. Uh, it's been a little bit laborious, to be honest, this first half. Uh, we have been the better team. Tottenham have been playing um, really hard to beat uh, at the moment and haven't offered much going forward themselves. But, um, yeah, they've just made it really frustrating for ourselves to try and find a way through. But got to be taking those sort of chances with Silva. It opened up beautifully for him. It's half-time and uh, obviously 0-0 going to the second half. Let's see how we get on. We might have to change things around a little bit. Um, at the moment, um, Tottenham are kind of exploiting my weakness, which seems like a lot of teams are, to be honest. They're being very physical with us. We've got a, quite a weak team, to be honest, especially going forward at least anyway. And uh, they are certainly trying to exploit that with their strength. Um, so hopefully that doesn't continue. Hopefully we find a way to pass it around. And we have found one or two uh, ways, but it's tr quite tricky. What ball in? Who's, who's marking him? Who is marking him at back post there? Absolutely nobody. Dreadful, dreadful positioning. And worst of all, is keeping there, to be honest. I hate to have a go at my players because I do like them so much, but that's terrible. That is really, really poor. We can't allow Lamella to get in completely unmarked and head it in the back of the net. Look where company is, and that's kind of straight from the throwing uh, company was put out wide. Um, I don't know why. No idea. But Bertrand's had to come across as a result of that. The medal is completely free. It's not good enough. It's really poor, is that? Losing the game 1-0. And um, at the moment, we're not going to be going back to the top of the league, which is obviously very frustrating with just a few games to go. Uh, we can't really let it crumble here. We've got to keep going. There's about 30 minutes left of this game. And, uh, yeah, things are going to be made pretty tricky now. It, it was already quite tricky against Tottenham. Uh, now they are going to be even more uh, difficult to beat, I think. First two changes, Moreno and Selina have come on. We'll be taking off Goetzka and Roberts. And uh, that means Moreno's going to go on the right-hand side. Selina at centre attack in mid. Silva will drop back a little bit. Uh, very attempting to take Guerra off. He's looking really tired. Um, but we don't really have an out and out strike. We've got Moreno who could play there, but... It's very difficult to know exactly where to position these guys. We're going to continue with Aguero for a little bit longer. Hope that he can maybe just give us a finish somewhere. Selena, good luck to Moreno. Come on, you've got fresh legs. So you've got to be able to do something here. Can he get the finish right? No, no, it's right. The keeper again. It's meant to be across the goalkeeper. <sighs> Frustrating because we're having the opportunities. We're just not taking them. The opposition do. We don't. Lozano into Kevin De Bruyne. De Bruyne needs Moreno's support. Moreno's still going to go and shoot. This time he scores. That's more like it. It's a one-all draw at the moment. We need another goal, though. A few minutes to go. Moreno, the substitute, scores it. That's what I wanted to do the first time. Now he does it. Four minutes left. And there's a slight window of opportunity to get a second goal. But it's very small. And uh, I've got to be careful, of course, not to go and lose this game with a couple of minutes left. But we'll see whether we get another chance. We might do. No, don't do this to me. Right, clear it. No, don't clear it back to them. Literally the only player that we shouldn't have passed it to ended up going to. Okay, we drew the game one all. Um, one of the more frustrating games that I think I've ever played on this career mode. Usually the games are quite exciting, quite fun to play. This one wasn't. This was really frustrating. Um, and, you know, we, we really sort of messed up a lot in this game. Uh, and we dropped two points against Tottenham. There's no shame in doing that. Tottenham good side, of course. But we had better chances, weren't clinical enough. And, um, yeah, I mean, the opposition were. That was the difference. Uh, we haven't had the, the sort of finishing touches at the moment, which is a bit frustrating um, because obviously this is the really important moment of the season and we have to get wins. Chelsea obviously won their last game. That means we are now, I think, a point behind them. Uh, I'm not exactly too sure where we are in the league. Uh, yeah, a point behind them with just five games to go now. And we are similar the game against Burnley and you never know what can happen when you sim games. So that's why I wanted to win that match. On some positive news though, uh, Carter accepts the contract, joins the senior team. That's great news, of course. He will join us and uh, get some more game time I think next season is more likely than this season to be honest uh, but still very happy with that and uh, that gives another option in goal it might well be that he's our second choice keeper could be third I haven't decided yet to be honest okay so straight into the next game it's against Burnley we're going to sim it this is I've gone with Edison Walker, Stones, Mangala, Mendy, Fernandinho, Gundogan, Sol, Sterling, Sanchez and Leroy Sané very strong team we're going all out here we've got to beat Burnley in this game that we're simming, simming. of course we already know before the game starts we have the better team on paper what does EA think about that and what sort of result they're going to give us? Sol puts us 1-0 up here, 16 minutes in, 25 minutes into the match, still winning the game 1-0. Got to try and get a second, we have done through Sterling, I'm going to skip it at half time. Still at 2-0 and we win the game 4-0, fantastic. Sterling scores another and I think also Gundogan scores on the penalty spot as well. Clean sheet, great result, let's move on to the next game against Arsenal in a week's time. Good news, Chelsea didn't get themselves 3 points, they must have drawn that match. 
Yeah, 78 points, and they did draw the match. That puts us in front of the title race, which is fantastic. Regain that top spot. Very fluky, of course, the way they've managed to quickly do that. But uh, maybe Chelsea lost, actually. I can't quite do the maths on that one. But still great news for us, regardless. Puts us top of the league. And uh, we do have some drills here. This week, just a few stats going up across the board. Nothing too major. And uh, everyone remains the same overall. Okay, so on to the next game and the final game of today's episode against Arsenal. This is the side we're going to go with for the match. We've got Edison starting in goal. Carl Walker, company, Stones, Mendy, Sol, De Bruyne, Silva, Gabriel Jesus, and Sanchez uh, out wide with Sergio Grau up front. And this match has gone with Mangala, Danilo, Delph, Gundogan, Sterling, Yuri Sane and Moreno all starting for us. Again, no out and out striker. We're going with a really attacking front three there and uh, seeing how we get on. So no wingers. We've got all strikers playing as our front three. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, hopefully going to get ourselves a positive result here against Arsenal. Of course, we're still top of the league, I think. Unless Chelsea have played. No, we're still top of the league, so that's good news, of course. Uh, it doesn't put us under too much pressure here. Let's wait and see how we do. Obviously, got to get the three points. Almost goes without saying, to be honest, with there being four games left. There'll be three matches left after this one. Okay, so here we go. At the Emirates, four last match against Arsenal. Let's see how we do. Very, very important game. And uh, probably our toughest game, I think, we have left this season. Although, we might have Liverpool as well. Carl Walker through to De Bruyne. What a start. De Bruyne must be a goal. Must be. It is. With three minutes in, De Bruyne gets us the opening goal on his left foot. Just opens up for us really nicely. You don't know what's happened in the Arsenal defence. They've all shifted one way. I think it's Gabriel Azus, I think, coming inside that's done it. Maybe uh, Bernardo Silva, difficult to tell. But anyway, De Bruyne gets in behind and slots at home. What a start. First attack, first goal. De Bruyne free kick here. We're just going to shoot with it. How is he going to do? Oh! Oh, had to be saved. What a free kick. Didn't realise it was going to dip and it actually caused Czech a real issue there. Nearly found the top corner. So close. And I don't usually do very well from those angles. I don't usually do well from free kicks at all, to be honest. But really good strike there from De Bruyne. And a really good start to the game for us as well. Another attack here. Cal Walker crossing on his left foot. We're never going to really win that. Go on, Sol. Sanchez now against his former team. Sanchez to shoot and score as well. We've made it 2-0. 14 minutes into this match. This is more like it from us. Sanchez scores against his former team. What a finish it is as well. Um, we're just more competitive. We want the ball more than Arsenal here. And a really good bit of dribbling. Managed to find just a little gap there uh, to put it through players and into the back of the net. Really good finish. Check can't really see it at all. And it's now 2-0. Well, now Silva wins it back. Now into Sol. Oh, to try and pick out Sanchez. Didn't let me find him. But Gabriel Jesus will. And it's now 3-0. Is that going to be offside? No, it's not. What a finish that is. Gabriel Azusa falls in perfectly, and we've got our third goal just 38 minutes into this game. We're actually smashing Arsenal here. It's a really comfortable game, and uh, we are just kind of cruising through the match. Hits it first time, just like it was really easy. Just sort of smashes it in the back of the net casually. Gabriel Azusa scores. As easy as that. 3-0. Okay, so it's half time winning the game 3-0. Can't really ask for too much more, to be honest. We've been the dominant team. Only one side in it. Arsenal have not looked good at all. And, uh, yeah, we've got ourselves a really comfortable lead at half time. Let's see how we get on with the second half. Sanchez through to Bernardo Silva. He's going to have to go this one alone. He doesn't have any support at all. Bernardo Silva gets hacked down. Pointless challenge there from, uh, I think it's Bayer Rin. I couldn't quite tell it is. And it's going to be a penalty. It's a really, really poor decision from him. Not going to complain though, because we get ourselves a penalty. Sergio Guerra here to step up. Can we find the top right hand corner? Not quite enough power on it. No, it's saved. Gutted with that. It's a really poor penalty. Not what I wanted to do. Chance here for Arsenal. No, good save. I want this clean sheet. There's 30 minutes to go. Nearly a goal for Arsenal there. The attack's on. Sanchez still going. Looking for the through ball. Great opportunity here. Sol thought he was going to get hacked down, but instead scores. 4-0. What a counter attack from an Arsenal corner. And I think that is the sign that we need to make some changes now. Rest of the players. We've got the fourth goal. Sol makes a brilliant run. No one tracks him. Thought we are going to get another penalty there. Just about managed to avoid it. And we have scored 4-0. Let's make changes now. Okay, all three changes. Moreno, Delph and Danilo all to come on. We'll take off De Bruyne, Sol and Aguero. Just protecting my players. Protecting them for other games coming up, of course. Moreno goes to play up front. Danilo will go play at hold the midfield alongside Delph. So, 25 minutes to go. I'm curious to see how Danilo does in there. Not trying there before. So, we'll give it a go. And uh, see what his performance is like. I think he's got the right stats for it. Oh, through to Moreno. This is a great opportunity for a fifth here. Moreno, does he have to finish? He does. That's 5-0. This is getting embarrassing for Arsenal now. The substitute's been on the pitch for a few minutes, and he scores. Just over 20 minutes left for this game. Moreno gets the fifth, and this is a real thrashing here against Arsenal. Can't remember the last team that we pulled apart like this. I'm pretty sure the highest uh, scoreline, which I was checking, I think, today, um, was against Celtic, and I think that was 5 or 6-0, so we're not too far off that. We could potentially beat it with 20 minutes left here against Arsenal. Walcott's running through. Oh, what a save by Edison again. 
keeps us with a clean sheet. That's it. It's a 5-0 win for us. Really good result. Of course, gets us the three points and does it in style as well, which is great to see. The first three goals came in the first half. The second, uh, the final two goals came in the second half, which is obviously very good for us. Uh, eight shots, seven on target, five goals. And uh, yeah, really dominant against Arsenal, who didn't really put up too much of a fight. They had one or two chances, and we were kept in it. Uh, or we did keep a clean sheet based on the fact that Edison had such a good game. But still, it was fully deserved, and I'm uh, really happy with that win. We'll now see how Chelsea got on in their match. Hopefully an opportunity for us to try and extend our lead in front of them. We do know that, of course, our goal difference will have been massively helped out. And uh, it does seem like Chelsea won their game still. So they're still keeping up with us. Uh, in fact, they got a few goals themselves. 4-1 against Watford in their match. Um, so our goal difference wasn't massively helped, only by the extra two goals. And that is where we'll end today's episode. We'll do the final three league games next episode. We've also got the final crew up against Crystal Palace. That's scheduled as the final game of the season. So the aim at the moment is to sim, I think, the uh, Middlesbrough game. I think we'll probably play the Norwich match, would have been an away game. Obviously play Liverpool and obviously also play Crystal Palace. So we'll end with these four games uh, in the next episode. Looking forward to trying to do that and uh, hopefully getting ourselves a bit of silverware. Winning the league back-to-back -back would obviously be absolutely fantastic. And of course winning... The FA Cup will be good as well. Shame we obviously couldn't go a step further with the Champions League and uh, or EFL Cup this season. But we've got the Community Shield if you want to class that as a trophy. Um, we've got player development here and uh, we will do the exact same five drills. Hopefully get ourselves a bit of progress maybe this week if we can. Yeah, Ribeiro goes up yet again. 61 overall now. He goes up on loads of his stats there. He goes up on seven in total and up to next overall. And so that is everything for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If we could try and hit 100 likes, then I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the channel or just haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well down below. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well, at GameFaceHD, and on Instagram at GameFaceHD as well. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.